Hello there, warm welcome to you on watching my views and news. Three new stories. First one is from Bahirdar. Amhara Regional Capital. Government claims to be in full control of six major cities of the Amhara region, including Bahirdar, the regional capital. Government your military claim everything is back to normal in Bahirdar, but everything is not back to normal. Six blasts happened in uh, Bahirda last night. Six loud explosions were heard reportedly. Some say five, most say six. And uh, uh, were these explosions a message from Fano fighters? What was the target? Secondly, an update for you from Alamata Raya. Southern Tigray, disputed territory between Tigray and Amhara regions. I reported a few days ago that uh, Ethiopian military had told Amhara police to leave Alamata. Uh, is Amhara administration still in control of uh, Alamata? What is the situation? And thirdly, Daniel Kibrit. Uh, Advisor to Ethiopian PM Abi a few minutes ago slammed Amhara diaspora. What did he say? Why is he so angry? Uh, yesterday we heard rumors about assassination attempt on Daniel Kebre. Uh, he himself denied, uh, he, he himself rejected the rumors. Then he spoke about Amhara diaspora uh, an hour ago almost. Firstly, viewers. Bahirdar, uh, regional capital where Fano fighters tried to make inroads a few days ago, they could not take control of Bahirdar. Fano fighters tried to reach Bahirdar airport, they could not. Uh, they captured some police stations. Uh, then they had to retreat from Bahirdar and five other major cities of the Amhara region. And then government tried to consolidate its control of Bahirdar. We saw that Ethiopian military started uh, house to house searches, uh, military uh, patrolling the streets, and uh, curfew was imposed. Later, uh, restrictions on Bajaj uh, were lifted, uh, banks opened, uh, traffic inter city, intra city traffic resumed. So everything government claims is back to normal, but everything is not back to normal. Fano elements are still in Bahirdar. Six loud explosions were heard in Bahirdar last night reportedly. A police station and five other areas were targeted. Uh, and most targets were government buildings. So what was the purpose? Uh, why did uh, someone hit these six places? Well, what we have learned is that these six blasts were warning shots from Fano fighters. When Fano fighters entered Bahirdar a few days ago, they entered the outskirts of Bahirdar from western side, they entered Kabul 13, 14. Back then, Amhara government officials fled regional capital. They fled towards other terror, other Amhara town cities and towards Addis Ababa. Now, Amhara Prosperity Party, Amhara government officials, they are being told to return to uh, assume charge. Government wants functional, federal government wants functional Amhara regional government. So these uh, regional government officials, prosperity members are being told to join their jobs. Fano does not want these government officials, government workers, prosperity members to be in Bahirdar or to attend uh, offices. That is why Fano last night carried out attacks on police stations, warning shots, hand grenades were thrown uh, at police station, at a police station and some government buildings. Message from Fano fighters was not for Ethiopian National Defense Force, but for government officials, security officials, police members, militia members and prosperity party members. These uh, administrative officials are, I always say, in a very difficult position. If they don't follow Fano's instructions, they can be assassinated. If they don't follow government's orders, they can be fired. 
there were a difficult position but uh, last night six explosions show that fano still has presence in bahirdar in some form uh, some uh, pro fano elements some elements back by fano are still based in bahirdar city uh, it's not difficult for fano fighters to get support uh, from inside the big amhara cities we saw that entire uh, not entire but large number of people of gondar stood with fano fighters we saw massive rally in support of fano fighters in gondar city it re and df took control fano is not in gondar city now but fano definitely has presence there same is the case in bahirda that fano has penetration it has presence it has elements here let's see will prosperity party members government officials will they uh, rejoin their duty or not fano wants to make a regional government dysfunctional that is why it is targeting bahirdar where uh, not the first time that uh, we have seen such warning shots fired such bomb uh, exploded it happened a few weeks ago secondly we was what is the situation in sadran tagrai raya lamata koram especially alamata main city in raya zone we know that uh, in raya alamata koram there is uh, a temporary administration which has backing of amhara regional government there is no amhara special force it has been disbanded Uh, there are militias uh, amhara militia amhara police some east amhara fano fighters secretly operating to and obviously ethiopian national defense force uh, the temporary administration uh, wants a referendum to be held here to determine the future status of raya hello bira of uh, alamata mayor and other uh, city administrators uh, submitted a petition to house of federation Uh, asking house of federation to order to announce a referendum in alamata ra alamata quorum tigray rejected the idea of referendum tigray wants return of idps tigray wants its territory back uh, meanwhile ethiopian national defense force uh, is trying to take full control of alamata is trying to push amhara police amhara militias out of ra alamata and quorum I reported three to four days ago. I think that uh, ENDF told Amhara police, Amhara militias, to leave Alamata, uh, and in Kobo, a camp was established for these police members of Alamata to report. And uh, then uh, the military started disarmament campaign. Militia members, police officials, they're being disarmed reportedly. Uh, and uh, military trying to take full control of alamata but it's not that military is in full control here uh, provisional administration is still working in raya alamata core firstly secondly yes uh, ethio military has arrested uh, several members of security forces police militia members uh, some uh have been disarmed to house to house searches have been conducted weapons have been recovered from some houses overall endf is in the process of consolidating its control of raya alamata core we cannot say that all amhara uh, elements have been pushed out of uh, raya alamata core amhara elements means amhara militia amhara government officials amhara Uh, police members otherwise amhara civilians live here so endf wants to clear this entire area it wants to take control of uh, the entire area and then it want to take it wants to take the next step that could be return of idp start of return of idps but return of idps uh, has not begun so far endf consolidating its control amhara police still in uh ra alamata quorum reportedly so it's too early to say what is going to happen but so far uh, military trying to consolidate control of ra alamata quorum military seems to have decided to, and military made it clear i think uh, to uh, amhara police to leave the area amhara militia members leave the area but uh, still there are amhara uh, elements in ra alamata quorum 
Last night, Daniel Kebre is furious at Amhara diaspora. Last night, we heard rumors about Daniel Kebre uh, that he survived uh, after an assassination attempt was carried out. Uh, some Amhara activists spread this rumor. Daniel himself denied he, uh, uh, he did not directly address the rumor, but indirectly he denied. And then today he lashed out at Amhara diaspora members. That Amhara diaspora extremist members are fueling the conflict in the Amhara region. It is done, he said. Means uh, it cannot happen. Uh, the the Fano is finished. Uh, he used the word Javisa. I think Javisa, uh, the, the term used for Fano, was first used by Daniel Kebra. Daniel is very close to PM Abi federal government. Uh, he is at the hit list of uh, Fano fighters. He was at the hit list of uh, Tigray uh, fighters too, but he is very uh, secure, well protected. Uh, and today, in a way, he rightly criticized Amhara diaspora. Since I, I remember last year, I did some videos, if you remember. Last year, I said that Amhara diaspora wanted to remove PM Abi. After federal government decided to disband Fano factions last year and several Amhara activists, journalists were arrested, uh, Tafira Mamu was arrested, uh, Meza Muhammad, and several of us. Back then, uh, Amhara diaspora tried to bring about a change in Amhara by backing start of some sort of movement. Back then, Fano fighters were not uh, organized. Amhara special force was operating in support of ENDF against Fano factions. So, Fano fighters were arrested in thousands. Their supporters too. Diaspora protested last year. Diaspora wanted uh, to remove PMR. This year things changed when government made a big decision. Government disbanded Amhara special force and then Majority of Amhara Special Force members joined Fano fighters. Fano got new life and we saw then Diaspora step in. Diaspora raised funds. Uh, Skander Naga was propped up. Uh, David Wolde Georgis was propped up who started fundraising for Fano fighters in the US. He has visited uh, several other countries too. So Diaspora then stepped in. Diaspora fueled the conflict you can say. Diaspora backed Fano factions. Diaspora still backing Fano factions. Uh, diplomatically, uh, politically, militarily too, because diaspora is raising funds for these foreign factions. So Daniel Kebre rightly criticized Amhara diaspora. But question is, what is government doing to resolve the conflict in the Amhara region? Government knows, I think, only one means of uh, resolution of conflicts, and that is military operation. Military operation, one after the other, are not changing uh, or not bringing about any positive change in Ethiopia. Uh, are Tigrayans more Ethiopian now after the two year long war? Do you think wounds have been healed? Wounds of Tigrayans inflicted on them? Do you think Ethiopia is a stronger country now after two year long war in Tigray? No. Ethiopia is weaker now. And if similar war erupts in Amhara, goes on for two years, so will Ethiopia be a stronger country? No. I think leadership will have to acknowledge its uh, shortcomings and mistakes too. Yes, diaspora is fueling the conflict. We have been saying that Tigray and diaspora did the same. They were supportive of independent Tigray country. Romo diaspora backs Romo Liberation Army. All diaspora factions, they back armed groups in almost all. I, I wouldn't say everyone. But majority of diaspora factions, they back uh, uh, armed ethnic groups in Ethiopia. Uh, so it's not something new. What is government doing to curtail diaspora's influence in Ethiopia? Government should try to resolve these conflicts politically. Because some diaspora sections have been in search of some opportunity to weaken the federal government. They have found the opportunity after 
Ethiopian government made a big decision which backfired. That was disbandment of Amhara Special Forces. Thank you for watching.